In Season 11, Fiedems are as ubiquitous or well-loved as the Collector, and it makes sense why. Crit chance is the lethality and an execute, what's not to love? However, is it really as busted as people say? Or is it just a lot of hype? In this video, I'll be talking about what Collector does, when you should build it, as well as when people build it wrong and why it's wrong. Of course, these are all just the opinions of a lowly plat top laner, so please don't take this as the be all end all guide for how to use Collector. That being said, let's get started. For the price of 3000 gold, the Collector gives you 55 attack damage, 20% critical strike chance, 12 lethality, and the death and taxes passive, which lets you execute enemy champions below 5% health and give you an additional 25 gold. On paper, it sounds amazing, right? A quarter of an Elder Dragon execute? Who wouldn't want to buy that? But really, it's only going to save you one auto attack against most targets. And a lot of the time, the execute won't even go off, you'll just kill them with your regular damage. And that's my first problem with Collector. It's classified as a burst damage item, but it really should be classified as a snowball item. The next problem with Collector is that compared to other crit items, it doesn't scale into the late game very well. Lethality gets worse and worse as the game goes on because champions get more armor per level than the lethality gives armor penetration per level. Additionally, compared to other crit items, the Collector is one of the least gold efficient. Most crit items have over 100% gold efficiency, with the exception of most of the zeal items, but the collector's stats are only 92.83% gold efficient, which is about the same as Phantom Dancer without either of its passives in effect. For that reason, I find it hard to justify building it on any ADC unless I'm pretty far ahead. However, ADCs aren't the only champions that build the collector. A lot of assassins also build the collector. And personally, I think Collector is worse on Assassins than it is on ADCs. Unless you're building a crit-based Assassin, the Collector has a lot less gold efficiency than it would on an ADC, as the 20% critical strike chance is kind of like 800 gold of wasted stats. For example, Serpent's Fang's 2600 gold price tag and 77.5% gold efficiency still gives more attack damage and lethality than the Collector would meaning that if you buy an extra longsword with the gold that you have with Serpent's Fang, even if you got lucky and got a 20% crit, Serpent's Fang would still deal more damage than the Collector would against most targets. That's not to say that you'll never want to build a Collector on the Assassin though, Zed's crit build containing the Collector, Lord Dominic's regards, and Essence Reaver has a lot more damage in the late game than a regular Lethality build would, especially when combined with Infinity Edge. In addition, when you're ahead, the damage that you lose from building the Collector is almost always worth the snowballing potential that it gives. There is one notable exception. Champions that build crit, who also enjoy lethality such as Gangplank or Graves, usually build Collector in every game even though the stats aren't as efficient, because compared to other lethality items, the Collector is one of the more efficient ones if you enjoy crit. In short, when you're ahead and can afford the damage loss, then the Collector is a very strong item that can let you hit your more powerful items faster. However, when you're even or behind, the Collector is a lot harder to justify purchasing, as you lose out on a lot of potential damage you could have had if you bought more gold efficient items. Thank you for watching.